because he used to close his eyes as soon as he would see me. And I believe that he thought that I couldn't see him. He would keep his eyes closed. It was so cute. That is the one kitty in the backyard out of all my other cats that has never let me pet him or get near him. But he does like to stare at me through the windows. He's precious. This is my new favorite Dollar Tree store. Out of all the stores, I've ever been. there's a camera, you guys. Know, my basket. I walked away. It's free and clear of what? Hmm. Have any of you guys used these? Five dollar ones. I'm like in the smoky plastic, the clear plastic. had a whole day of running errands. I actually, I started off earlier. I went and did a return for a gift that I bought on eBay. It didn't look like what it looked like on the eBay app. But anyway, so I returned it. And then I went to the post office for my weekly post off, weekly post office run. And then I went to and pull my face away from, from guys. <laughs> and then I went to um, Sam's Club, picked up a few things, mostly fruits and vegetables, rotisserie chicken. I did get a pre made broccoli salad. Um, I haven't eaten today. It's like 6, 7, 7 p.m. I still haven't eaten. I've been fasting today. Mostly just liquids. Um, I, I don't know. Today felt really productive because I had to get up early. I did uh, get my coffee and I finished writing some stuff. And then I started cleaning my front patio, de-webbing it. And I can't believe I actually finished that. And then I watered the plants up there and and I washed the brushes that I de-webbed. And then I washed some big throw rugs out there and I let them dry in the heat out in the front patio. Clean the cat crate. Mom does keep a cat crate because there's some times where Rocky will just really beat up badly on Zalji Kitty, the 17 year old cat. And Rocky's just a brat, and so sometimes he goes in there for his downtime. And he knows it's a punishment. He goes in willingly, but he knows. I, I, I swear that cat understands every word we say. Rocky. Rocky. Well, Zelty too. Zelty's been around for a long time. But anyway, so I cleaned that out, and Rosie's just a little grouchy girl. She has rules, and I don't know why I'm veering off on that, but she's precious, though. I love her, as well as my outdoor kitties. Yes, I'm the crazy cat lady. Anyway, so I did all that, and then I took Mom at home and took the groceries and stuff home, and then I went back out to Dollar Tree. I filmed in there, and then my oldest son called me so I stopped filming and I was talking to him I love when he calls me and we just I didn't care he's like oh, let me I'll let you go mom I know how much you enjoy Dollar Tree and I'm like no it's okay Mingle. let's just keep talking so I just kept talking to him and then I went after Dollar Tree I went to I mean it was a big I mean the lady you know they'd have the grocery but the gro yeah the baskets have these poles on them so that they can't go outside because 
they lose them, the homeless people take them and they just, they lose the baskets. So these baskets can't go outside. I bought so much and the cashier says, "Hun, just put your basket right here and bring your car up to the front so you don't, I know you can't carry all that out. She's so sweet. So that's what I did. And so after that, I went inside um, grocery outlet to go get some, I got me some kombucha. I would get some coffee creamer for my son and mom. And I got some bananas and crackers and rice cakes. That's all I got from there. But that and then I sat in the car and I did a Dollar Tree haul for y'all. I know this is gonna. I'm gonna put this video right here on my vlog channel. I've been trying to vlog some, you guys, but it's hard when I'm out and about and it's really super hot because you know it's super hot. Oh, and when I was doing the the haul, I was talking about. Since I've seen you guys last, or since I've uploaded last, I've become a great-grandmother. My son, my son, my grandson and his wife had their baby. Uh, um, baby came with, I mean, her labor's, labor pains started when we had all those earthquakes here. And I live like 10 to 12 miles away from the actual epicenter from that that crazy earthquake that earthquake kept me dizzy i mean i really got dizzy with the rumbling of the ground and there was a lot of aftershocks all night so i just stayed dizzy and then the next day i was dizzy too um i started off that day before the earthquakes I started off dizzy because I took a little bit too much RSO if you guys know what RSO is you know I shouldn't have taken I, I, I thought I was ready but I wasn't and I took a little bit too much and then I um I was finally feeling better and then the earthquake started and then I really got dizzy but the RSO made me kind of high I'm, I've been healing naturally and RSO is proven it's got some really good nutrients it's proven to cure cancer skin cancer and tumors and all kinds of cancer so it's, it's really good so I I finally found a, a legitimate United States I guess they have one in every state because RSO was created by a gentleman from Canada but anyway, you guys, I'm finally home now. So since I've seen you all, I've become a, a great grandma, a Gigi. I'm really excited about that. And we've had earthquakes. And yeah, this great grandchild is the grandchild of my son, Tony. My son that passed away eight months ago. And like I was, I probably said this before, on the day that my son died and I had to deliver the news to his sons, um, that was on that same day, his oldest son and his wife found out that they were gonna be parents and then they found out his dad died. So that, I wish that Tony was, I wish Tony was here, period. I just, I am struggling with all of that, but uh, I'm excited to meet his granddaughter, my great, great granddaughter, which makes mom a great, 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 wait, wait, wait. Grandma, great grandma, great Greg. Okay, I'm a really aging mom. Mom's a double great, great grandma. Mm -hmm.